Hi, I'm James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add copyright information to your images and also how to add keywords so that your images can be found using search engines. And while this won't stop people from using your shots without permission, it does mean that you've done everything you can to make it possible to contact you. And there are occasions where people can and will contact you because of that information that is within the image. And I've had it happen to me before where someone has seen this particular shot I have on screen and they contacted me through the EXIF information. So that was great. So there are two ways to get into that information. You can either hold down Control, Alt, Shift and I or you can go up to file and then go to file info and um, we'll start off with the description here you just fill in this information you just type it in and it's really simple it's just a case of type in the title of the image mine is called the fencer author that's you and your title and then just a brief description of what's going on in the image so here we have keywords and these are separated by semicolons or commas and this is what the search engines will use to actually find your shot so this is really important I always put my name in a couple of different ways obviously photography and then some more descriptive words that actually work with the image itself by default copyright status will actually be set to unknown so just make sure that's set to copyrighted and then when people open up your image in Photoshop they'll get this little C here that you can see up in the left hand corner and also in the file info or the properties they'll be able to see that copyright notice as well. And then I've just popped the notice in here as well. And then the uh, info is the URL of my website. Then once all that's done, you're ready to go on to IPTC. And again, you pop your name in here, your title, which would be photographer, your address, telephone number, email addresses, and then website. And that's it, that's all you need to do. And it can make such a difference putting these few pieces of information into your images. As I say, it's not going to stop people using them without permission, but you know that you've done everything you can to make it possible to contact you. So once everything's done, hit OK, and there we go. All of that information is in there and it's ready for me to upload onto the internet.